Hello everybody, today we have Hurdy Gurdy Man by Donovan. A really fun song, trippy, got that 60s psychedelic folk Donovan feel. A lot of fun on this. And uh, chord wise, um, if you're just looking to like jam out these chords, it's pretty easy. It's just uh, two different patterns. We've got the, uh, the intro slash chorus. And that's just three chords. And then the verse, which is just four chords. And uh, pretty basic chords, too. So uh, just to jump right in, we have the intro, which is also the chorus. Uh, this just kind of does one progression in the intro, but, uh, you know, rocks it out a little more in the chorus. And uh, it's going to start with uh, F chord. Okay, just a couple strums on that. One measure there. And uh, now, look, probably the funkiest chord going on. It's it's a C chord, but we want to include the, an open E bass note with it because uh, it's kind of weird. There's uh, another guitar that comes in, and it's doing just like F to open. So, but there is a C chord going on too. So we just strum this C chord with the E bass note. Okay. And then just finish it with a G chord. A couple of measures on that. Okay, now the verse um, starts off with the G chord. Now we do B minor. to a C, and then finally, D chord, okay. nice and easy, all right, now some fun stuff here for the more adventurous types. Um, this is like uh, the really distorted guitar that comes in at certain parts in the chorus there and uh, has that cool solo in the middle there. And uh, there's some dis dispute to this, but uh, for everything I've seen, this is uh, Jimmy Page playing on this. So it's got his uh, cool little trippiness to it. And um, yeah, so just dump on the, the fuzz distortion, get that going. Um, so when the uh, the first and second chorus kick in here. Um, we're going to get this really long bend going on. And uh, we want to do it here at the first fret. It's kind of tricky. If you have trouble bending it there, then you can just come up to the six on the D and do it there. But I think it sounds uh, a little gnarlier if you were just do it on the G string here. So just bend that really slow, prolonged bend. <laughs> And then the chorus will kick in. And then we get to this point here. And this only happens in the first chorus. For some reason, they just let it doesn't happen in the second one. But uh, it's this other bend that comes in where we're at the sixth fret on the G. Another slow bend on that. And then we're going to slide it to the three and then just pull off to the open. And then throughout the rest of the chorus, uh, we're just kind of hitting these single notes here. Uh, like I said, this is kind of where that E bass note comes in. That's um, makes sense. So uh, just going to hit that first fret. Then the open E. And then the three on the E for the G. Okay, we'll go through that three times. And then at the end of the choruses, uh, we get this little riff that comes in. It's a bend on the second. Nice slow one, of course. We bring it back down. And then we come open on the G, of course. Three. Hit five on the G and bend it. Okay, release. 
place it. Three, open to open. Now we get into the solo, and uh, a lot of fun stuff here. Uh, got the uh, open D to start out. Okay, do a couple of those, and then one more. Okay, and then we do uh, three threes on the D. Then we go three, two, three, two, two. something like okay then we do 3d 3a 3 fives on the a to 3 on the a then we do 5 3 2 on the a so put that whole section together. Right, next section here, and just a heads up, this section is also going to get played in the outro. So that little scale you hear in the very end is this right here. Okay, and uh, it's a cool little thing we do uh, on the B string. We're going to hit 6 and then bend it come back down and go to five. Okay, then we bend that five, come back down and go to three. All right, then we go three, one, three, one, open on the B. Come back up, hit a couple more sixes, and then we're going to slide that six up to 11 and hit that a couple times. Okay. All right, into the next section, we're kind of going to do some descending slides here. Okay, so we were at that 11 on the B. We're going to slide that to 10, hit it, slide that to 8, hit that and then slide that to six and hit that. Okay, so something like this here. Okay. All right, and the next part, uh, we're gonna be at the three on the D, go to one G, come to some threes on the G, bend it and release it. Okay, then we hit one, couple opens on the G. Okay. Now we do three on the D, open G, three G, couple fives on the G, and bend. We do bend on the six of the B, hit a three E, uh, bend and come down on the six of that B, and then go to three B. It happens pretty quick after that previous part, so it'd be something like something like that. And then we'll just finish this section by doing a three to open pull off on the G and then a couple opens and then just repeat that. All right, final part of the solo. Uh, after our pull offs to open on the threes, we're just going to uh, throw in a bunch of these sliding to five on the D and hitting an open G right after it. We're going to do that about five times. Okay. 
right in there. Okay. And then we're just going to reel off a bunch of these uh, three on the G, pull off to open, and then hit the open. Next section, a couple open Ds, bend a 3 on the G, bend it again, come back down and go to 2. Then we do 3, 2, open. Alright, now we do a little funky thing here, we're going to go... 5, bend on the G, hit the 3 on the B, release it, go to 4, and then hit an open on the G. Alright, now we're going to throw in this quick little thing way up high here. We're going to slide up to 15 on the E, hit it again, bend to 17, and then come back down to 15. Something like that. Just a quick little high thing that gets tossed in there. Alright, and then uh, finish it all off here. We're going to do a couple of open G's. Okay, and then do a open, three open on the D. Okay, and then we do three on the D, a couple of open G's. And then just finish it off by doing a big long slide up to 14 of the G and sliding back out. Okay. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.